Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. It has been about two weeks, I think, since I last filmed a video. Um, so I have a lot to share with you in this haul video. This is gonna be technically part two for my last video. If you haven't seen it, it was um, like a shopping trip. I just went on a shopping spree and bought a lot of stuff. So this is the continuation of those items. And then also some other stuff that I've gathered and I'm just throwing into this video. So this is probably going to be a really long one. So get comfy, get a snack, get a drink, all that stuff. It's going to be a long video. Um, by the way, my setup is completely different. I did get a new white Ikea desk. It's, um... I think it's like the same length as this desk here. It's the same length, except I put it in the middle because I have two monitors. It's not an aesthetic setup, so I'm not even gonna bother showing you, but it's for my um, for my job. So I have two um, monitors and I needed a workspace specifically for um, those computers. And my previous job, I worked on my laptop, so things are changing on my desk. Um, there's some things I need to order from Amazon for work uh, to make my desk look cute specifically for that. Maybe I'll show you at the end or something. But anyway, yeah, so I got it on Marketplace too. I think it was like for 10 bucks. Check Marketplace if you're looking for like some really cheap furniture because you can find some really cool um, good deeds or deals, sorry. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you love hauls, um, make sure to subscribe. I would love for you to be here and let me go ahead and stop rambling and get into the video. Okay, so going in no particular order, I'm just pulling from the bags that I have nearest to me. The first items are from Five Below, and I don't know exactly which items. Well, some of them I do remember when I got, like, those items from my shopping trip when I went to go visit my friend, and um, then other stuff after, you know, here and there. But these are from Five Below. Now, this is a Valentine's um, Cinnamon Roll Squishmallow. He's holding a cute little sprinkle cookie. He is so freaking cute. And this was, of course, like, I think it was $5.95. That's how much the Squishmallows are at five below. He is so freaking cute. So I was really happy I was able to find him. Now, obviously he, you know, it's Valentine's, but like, he's just holding a cookie so you could display him anytime. He's so adorable. Look at his little cinnamon roll tail. I love him. And then I also found the little My Melody. She has her pink cap with little white hearts and her yellow bow. And that is her tag there. She's absolutely adorable and so soft, of course, because she's a Squishmallow. So I was really happy I was able to get her. And then I found some Pusheen plushies. Um, so here's this pink one. I think in my last video, um, or the one before that maybe, I hauled one that is like a, kind of like a, um, well, I guess sort of like a pinkish taupe sort of color. I don't really know how to describe it. But anyway, this one is definitely a pastel pink. You can see the back of it the cute little tail the little hands and the feet are so cute and look at that face Pusheen five I think it was either three or five dollars but I think that is so cool that you can find Pusheen products at five below um and then moving right along I have a Bigfoot that is brand new and this is from CVS was it CVS or Walgreens I think it was CVS and um Eric actually bought this one for me um and her name is Waxy. She's so stinking cute. I'm trying to open up the tag here. I think she was like uh, $10. But yeah, she's this like magenta, purple, pink, or pink and then purple here in the center. And look at her little feet. Got the little like purple prints here. And then she's got two little um, teeth coming out and little blush cheeks. I love her like furry cap. It's like a purple and pink extravaganza <laughs> and look at her ears she's adorable i know some people didn't really like her but how could you not like Waxy? her him i don't know but this big foot's adorable um and then i also got this from five below as well um this is a hello kitty plushie and this is part of like their spring collection i'm still on the hunt for a couple others that i have not seen yet but this one she's wearing this adorable plaid dress with the blues and the pinks and she's holding a pink daisy that's like sparkly so cute and she even has a matching bow she's adorable and then this is the tag it looks like a like an easter tag like the plushies do not look like this this is more like a spring themed set this is how she looks on the back she's so adorable for five dollars such a good quality plush um and then these next two bigfoots um i remember this was after i had just gotten back the next day from my little like tr um, shopping trip um and eric had gone to marshall's 
and he found these two Bigfoots, but he wasn't sure if I had them. So I told him that to get me one of them, and that was Benny at Marshall's, which I was so excited, but there was another one that I was unsure, and I was like, no, I do have her, but I didn't. So anyway, we did end up going back to go get the other one, but this is the one that he did purchase for me initially, and it is Benny, and he's so cute. Look at that little face and that tooth. The ears, everything, so squishy. Gotta get a close-up of the Bigfoot feet and the back. Super fuzzy. Now, he does not have a tag, and I think they gave him to Eric for $5 or $6 or something. Um, I wish he had a tag, but he was too cute to pass up on. I had to get him, so I'll just definitely have to look for a tag and purchase that separately. But we went back because I did not have this one, and this one is Eden. I do have the Valentine's version, and there's like little hearts here on the side, and then the feet are like sparkly, so the feet obviously are like a turquoise color. Um, so this is just like a regular Eden, but she's purple, and it's got like a darker purple belly cute little lashes her cap is so cute the pink and the purple with the turquoise it's such a good color combination but yeah I think she was yeah nine dollars nine bucks compared to twelve dollars so I was very excited about finding those Bigfoots um, to add to my Bigfoot collection and then another one I found that I had been looking for is Shasta I finally got my hands on Shasta she is so cute she is like this orange kind of creamsicle color and those are her little feet and then her cap is really pretty and orange I don't know why I call this like their cap I don't know why I say that but the top of her head and she's got little felt flowers little blush cheeks that's how she looks on the back and then that is the tag I think I got her from um, CVS I think Honestly, I really don't remember where I got the Shasta from. There's a clip that I'm looking for that is from Target that I haven't found yet. I think this one is from CVS. And I think she was like $5, $6, something like that. I don't quite remember, but she's so stinking cute. And so I got my hands on her. Oh, and then I found a lip gloss at Five Below. Um, this is an LA Colors uh, lip balm has a lip oil and a lip balm two-in-one lip treats and um, it's obviously like strawberry scented it looks pink but it's probably gonna be clear and then you've got a lip balm I don't know if you could even see it on the camera here but it's like in the shape of a heart right there you can kind of see it raised so cute so I'm excited to try this out and I think this is only like two dollars or something so I decided to pick it up they did have another one I think it was vanilla but I, I like the strawberry one Okay, and then the next thing, this is from this store called Windsor. This is the tag. Um, I never, I've heard of it, I just never ever gone into Windsor. Actually, I think I have, but I never bought anything. It's more like dresses and, you know, stuff like that. But this was such an impulse buy, this purse. I bought it because it reminded me of a marshmallow for some reason. I don't know why. But what I envisioned was gluing some googly eyes right here and giving this bag a whole personality because it's like this faux leather it's kind of like a I don't even know like a tan it's pretty soft actually and then it has this like fur trim here on the top that's really poofy and then all on the bottom and the handle is super puffy which I thought was so cute but yeah it's just literally a purse and it has like little magnetic clips or class whatever you can fit a good amount of stuff in here to be honest it does not have the little crossbody action that most purses like this have unfortunately but that's okay um i could use it as just like an actual handbag this was $24.90 but it was on sale for three dollars and i had quarters <laughs> i bought this with quarters because i'm crazy um but yeah that was that was an impulse buy but it's cute i'm excited to put googly eyes, googly eyes on it <laughs> and give it a whole different look but anyway all right, more five below stuff. I'm going to try to go through it as fast as I can. Now, again, remember, guys, all this stuff, most, well, honestly, half of it was all bought on two days <laughs> when I went on my crazy shopping spree. And then the rest of it, which has been over the past, like, couple of weeks since my last video and by the time I like upload this and stuff. So anyway, I found a regular Pusheen from five below. This was from a different location and it's a regular Pusheen color. There's the tag the little stripes the little tail so freaking cute absolutely obsessed with him and then I also got this one this is like a kind of like a purple pink like a light purple pink 
and then this one has little purple stripes it's also on the tail which is so cute and these also have like beans inside like the bottom which is cute this is how it looks oh my gosh can you tell i love plushies like you could just never have enough plushies i just want my house overridden with plushies everywhere i love them they make me so happy they're so cute <sighs> So ridiculous but anyway um oh and then i also found this super cute bum bum just to come to realize that i actually have this because i got it in a set for christmas last year but he's so stinking cute and he's a coffee pot at first i was like what is he but he's a coffee pot he's like fuzzy so this is the coffee that's the glass this is the little handle little orange little spout and it has like gold just little feet little arms so he's stinking a He's, I can't. I can't take it back. So I'm actually going to give him to Eric so he can put it in his room because obviously I already have one. So he can keep him because I already have one in my collection. So that's okay. Um, the next thing I got, now this is a blind bag. I couldn't wait. I opened it. What can I say? They have some really cute Sanrio blind bags and boxes at Five Below, which is so cool. Um, so this one is the um, My Melody Chromey, my favorite color figurine. There's five types. So those are the, all the different ones you could get. I loved this My Melody, um, like, like a, she's wearing like a little like waitress scene or yeah, like a waitress outfit, lead outfit. And then the My Melody with the strawberry, oh, but I like all of them. And the one that I did get, honestly, I already forgot. Oh, I got Karomi. I really did forget, to be honest. Some of these stuff, like I can't wait to open, like the blind bags and stuff but then I forget. I got Karomi holding a cute little rose. She's got a little bow on her cap. She's so cute. It's how she looks on the back. I think these were Gashapon, but they made them into blind bags here in the U.S., but she's so cute, so I'm excited to have her. And then moving right along, um, I have some Karofi merch, which I'm excited to see more Karofi stuff coming out in stores. I found this cute Karofi mug, and this is um, from Five Below, so it was $5. We got the traditional Karopi outfit. It's very 90s, that's what it reminds me of. Like the color scheme, I don't know. But yeah, it's just like a normal mug. Super cute to have some coffee in. And then on a separate trip, I found the matching bowl and I could not say no to this Karopi ramen bowl. Or it's just like a ceramic bowl with chopsticks. 16 ounce. That's how it looks on the side. I can't believe this was five bucks. So cool. And then it comes with the wooden chopsticks, which don't have any designs on it. It's just red and white stripes, but very cute. I'm going to put ramen in here, make a beef bowl, whatever. And then I have my matching Karopi mug, which is super cute. Um, and then calling all Squishmallow clips. These are not Bigfoots because they're just not Bigfoots. I usually collect the clips that are not, well, I mean, I do collect Bigfoot clips, of course, but like any other um, characters for the most part are usually the clips or the really small ones. I found this one and he is so cute. This one, I think this one was from Five Below too. This is Nia, Nia, Nia. I don't know what kind of bird she is. She had toucan. It's a little fuzzy tail, but she's purple. She's got little purple fuzzy wings and look at the little beak. I think this is a toucan. No, it's not. I don't know what kind of bird it is, but she's cute. Maybe I'll put it on the screen. Love that. And then this one I also got, it's uh, the purple like um, cow. I love the violet colored little spots in the fuzzy belly, fuzzy hair, got little like horns and the ears are so cute. Look at that little tail, absolutely adorable. This one is Conway. Conway's so cute. Oh, this is from Target. Target exclusive. So this one was like $4.99. Five bucks. Super cute. And I think this next one, I really, actually, this one's like my favorite out of the three. This is the, the, the auto. I like totally stumbled over my words here. I think this is from by, Five Below Two. It's a three and a half inch clip on, but maybe from Target. Honestly, I don't really remember one of those so cute i love him he's so he's like a mythical um what is he i can't think with my head right now i'll put it here on the screen somewhere but look at his little wings they're sparkly and his little ears he's got like embroidery here on the top we got his little tail i'm obsessed with the color choice too this like sea green was he like a sea monster 
I think that's what he is. Absolutely adorable. Um, another random thing that I got, well, actually Eric bought this for me, and it's just a little Bucky's lip balm. It says, I love Bucky's, and it's in smooth mint. I absolutely love Bucky's lip balm. They're top tier, and they're only 99 cents. So random, but I love it because I told Eric, I was like, I finished my Bucky's lip balm. Can you give me another one when you get off work? And he did, so so cute. Um, next up are some stickers that are from Walmart, and these were on sale for like 10 cents so I picked up two packs again random this was like when we went to go get like some dog food or something and look what I come back with some crap <laughs> but they're stickers um you get eight sheets 32 stickers total and they look like little bugs but they're Halloween stickers so these were in the clearance section so I mean I guess that's why they were like 10 cents and um they've got little bugs this is creepy crawly spooky there's more bugs and beetles and pastel purple spider web but I just thought they were cute I got both of those um okay anyway okay continuing on with some more five below stuff from different trips this one was actually some stuff I bought in a new Braunfels location and they totally got me in the little dollar section that they have number one why do I need this why do I want this but it's one of these balancing <laughs> They had different colors. I got the yellow and blue. So yeah, it's the amazing balancing bird. And this just reminded me of one I used to have back in the early 2000s as a kid and I used to love it. And he was only a dollar, so I got him, cause why not? And then they also had these really adorable little mystery squishy buns. They're metallic mystery buns. Um, will you find the super rare mini gold dumpling? So there's different metallic ones you could get and these were only a dollar and they come in this super cute um little like steamer packaging like put your little buns in and i got a silver one yeah and they're just little squishies and i actually really like these like little um squish things or like fidgets um because i like to use them while i'm working and i always am like doing something for the most part so i got this little silver one which is cute and i love the container I got sucked into it and then I also got another one and this one is the rose gold one the rose gold squishy dumpling um I have a larger size one from five below they're not metallic they're just like a regular like dumpling color and I got that one a long time ago like two years ago or something and I loved it so much that it's kind of like almost flat it's not as squishy but anyway and then look at this <laughs> this is so dumb but it's a cube of cheese <laughs> the packaging it's like as if you went to oops the grocery store and picked up some cheese and it's cubed cheese but it's a little squish so yeah it looks like a little cubed cheese and it's squishy what i was like need need love it so cool best dollar i spent ever and then I also found these really cute micro plush pals by Ploofs. Um, this is series two. I do remember they had series one and I don't think I bought any of them, but I saw this cute little derpy alpaca. You can see the little face with the ears and the creepy feet. It's just like a little ball to be honest, but they're only a dollar. And honestly, I feel like they should have been a keychain. but he's cute. <laughs> As you can see, I get sucked in to these things that are just absolutely unnecessary, but they're cute and I can't help myself. It is what it is. Um, okay, I have some stuff from TJ Maxx. This was a, um, a time I went on a whim. We don't really go to TJ Maxx very often because I'm like, I need to stay away from that store. Usually TJ Maxx, Home Goods, yeah. But they had a lot of stuff on clearance. And so the first thing I have is this cute panda mirror. It's a folding mirror, it's a folding handle. Um, and it's a cute panda face. Love the packaging, very kawaii. Um, and this was only $4 compared to $12. Yeah, so I like that it stands on its own. So this is great. So like if I'm traveling, I'm gonna do my makeup, whatever, I have a standing mirror because the one I have is just a normal, like you have to hold it. So it's very cute for $4. So I got that, gonna use that a lot. And then they had so many lip balms, lip glosses, 
eyeshadow palettes, makeup brushes, skincare products that was on sale. They had a lot of really good products. And I was funny because I wasn't going to go check that section because most of the time it's always busted. It's been used up. Like it's missing products. It just looks disgusting and dirty. But they had a lot of really good things that they must have just put out. So I did get, I did pull back. I only got these two things. This is the Beauty Concepts Moisturizing Lip Balm Collection. So there's Peach Pop, Lavender Breeze, Rose Water, Wild Berry, Fresh Mint, and Vanilla Sugar. They're all in little squeezy tubes, which is cool. So I'm excited to try these out again with any of these like makeup products. I'll put it on the screen and let you know what I thought about these, if they sucked or not. But these were $3. I don't know how much it says compared to. But yeah, it's supposed to make your lips soft and moisturized. So I'm excited to try those out. And then I really thought this one was cool. It's a 24 karat gold lip glow set. It's infused with real 24 karat gold, non-sticky, moisturizing, shimmer and shine. So there's like a clear one and it has like gold in it supposedly. And then there's like a pink one with gold with the metallic caps, which is really nice. But it's by this brand called Nika. Uh, Nick, Nika K, New York, and this was only two dollars. So yeah, I'm excited to try this out. It moisturizes and brings a mirror shine to your lips. 24 karat gold lip glow set offers a comfortable formula that provides hydration, shimmer, and conditions lips for a soothing lightweight gloss. Choose between a clear gloss and a sheer pink tint. Kiss chapped lips goodbye and pamper them with flecks of 24 karat gold. We'll see. Um, and then I also got this um, Snell hand cream made in Korea and I just got the packaging is so cute the sloth with the little Snell it's an enhanced treatment repairs and brightens and yeah this is what the packaging looks like very cute and it was only two dollars from four bucks compared to seven so I'm excited to add this to my little lotion bin because I've been steadily running out and then the last thing is this, this one wasn't on sale, but it is a strawberry lip balm, a pure skin coconut strawberry lip balm by Esfolio. And I have tried their um, body lotions, um, body washes by this brand, and they're actually really good. But like, look at this strawberry face. How am I gonna say no to that? So cute. This was $4 compared to seven, but I had to get this. And there was so many other products that I wanted and they were so cheap, but I was like, We'll just get this for now. <laughs> okay, moving along. Um, some more stuff from Five Below. Um, yeah, here's another thing I got suckered into is a dollar. They're mystery squishy bears, since or squishy squashy sensory fun, and there's six to collect. It's series one, so they're different colors, and I really wanted to get either the blueberry or the green apple, but I got the orange one. And to be honest, I was like a little like, oh, why is it so sticky? I don't know why it's so, st it's so sticky. Like, I'm not even going to try to take it out of the bag. I can, but maybe, I don't know. But it is very squishy. You can see it has these like little like orby things in it. But I got orange. You know, a dollar. Kind of can't beat it. Super cute. Um, and then I also found this, which I thought it was going to be a dollar, but this thing was three something which in my opinion, I don't think it's worth it. It's more like a dollar store type of thing. But it is this keyboard fidget clicker. It's supposed to be a mechanical keyboard, satisfying clicking. Um, and they also had another one that had more primary colors. I already opened it, but I got the pastel one, of course. It's pretty satisfying, it's very satisfying. So definitely gonna keep this with my little fidget bucket by my desk so I think that's cool and then another time I oh we also did get some okay so Eric's been obsessed with adorables and he's those are all his he's oh we've opened them separate so I can't haul them because they're his stuff but um he did get some of these uh one Tsum Tsum plush I don't remember what series it was but it was from five below it was five dollars and it is a Tsum Tsum plush um blind bag we opened it up. I don't have the packaging, but he ended up getting this one. What is this one called? This chipmunk. What's his name? <laughs> I don't remember. He's cute though. He's super soft, but he really wanted, I think it was, um, 
I don't remember which character it was, but he was like, ugh, he's like, I'm not buying these no more. <laughs> but he's cute. So he's like, you can have him. I'm like, all right. I don't remember his name. I'll put it right here. It's like, it wants to come out, but I don't remember. Um, and then I also finally found this little mini sticker book library set. You get five of them and they're very quiet, so adorable. And um, they're by Fashion Angel. So you get a set of five books, 675 stickers total. And I saw this on somebody's um, TikTok. So this is what they look like. They're little books. They are so cute and they're all different themes. So I'm gonna not flip through all of them because it's a lot, but we have cute little foods. There's the cover. So they're just like little glossy stickers. Absolutely adorable. Um, and then we have magical cuteness. These stickers kind of remind me of, well, yeah, they are fashion angels. That's exactly what I was going to say. I have sticker books by them. This one is all animals are cute. Just so you can kind of get like a, a feel of the sticker books. If this is like your style of stationery, run to five below and get this cute overload. Gummy bears. Just like so many stickers and I like how compact they are. Um, and then random cuteness. At first I thought they were like the little scrapbooks, the little papers, but they're sticker books, which honestly kind of makes it better. But I think these are so cute. So I'm very happy. And this was $5 by the way. So like a dollar a book, which is a steal. So yeah, if that's your style of stationery, definitely go look for it and get it because and the time that um, I was at that five below, I wasn't even looking for it. Honestly, I completely forgot about it. And when I saw it, I knew I had to get it. So, yeah. Okay. And then this is actually from Burlington, which I don't go to very often. But I did pick up these snacks for my little snack cart here in my office. The Hello Panda chocolate um, cookies. You get 12 bags. They do have some really good snacks that you really can't find like everywhere. You can't just like go to HB or Walmart and find them. They were only five bucks compared to six fifty, which is cool. And yeah, so I picked those up to have. And then I was about to leave that. It was like at night because they close at like midnight. I found the Alice in Wonderland makeup brushes by Wet n Wild. The Mad Tea Party set. So there's like a little like blush brush. We got like a contour one, an eyeshadow blender. Like, look at them. You can see like what's on the brushes here. So cute. The packaging is absolutely adorable. So I was very happy I was able to find it. And I did not expect to find anything in the makeup. Yeah, six bucks. Six bucks by Wet n Wild. I have two lipsticks. I think like an, uh, a liquid eyeshadow, um, a lip balm. It's something else that I did get from Marshalls a while back. And I was like, I need to find the rest of the collection because they don't have it on Wet n Wild anymore. And I know they have this super cute, it looks like a book, but it's a makeup bag. And I've been on the hunt for that one. So I found that at Burlington, just random. Next up is some stuff from Hobby Lobby. Just these three things. I found another one of these fidget things. I've been wanting one of these like snail caterpillar. It was a snail fidget slug four dollars and he's rainbow and I mean that's all he does <laughs> oh gosh yeah yeah he's cute I love him and then I picked up these wiggle <laughs> they're sticker googly eyes they were on sale for 62 cents from three bucks they're just googly eyes but they're stickers and I thought these would be cool because I thought I had googly eyes, but apparently I don't. But I got them for that purse. But I don't know. Are these too small? Should I get bigger googly eyes? I don't know. But super cute. And then I also found this Hello Kitty and Friends super cute sticker book for $5.49. You get over 1,500 stickers. So let's do a quick little run through of the stickers. So here we go. absolutely adorable love the little strawberry cart got them as like little foods and things letters 
numbers. So cute. I love Hanjubon. They're like a little ice cream. Little like hot dog cart, so cute. It's little stars and bows. I love how they're all like lined up right here. And the little trays of them as foods. <laughs> Tuxedo Sam ice cream truck. <laughs> and these are like little posters or something. Actually, I have these posters. They're like small posters. I have it on my bathroom door. That's so weird. Here's some more. I'm a little pom pom. Some more little stars and banners. We got them as like little ice creams and stuff. Absolutely adorable. Love Batsmaru. Got Choco Cat. My Melody. Hello Kitty on a burger. Karopi as a drink. <laughs> pom pom as a burger. Some more alpha stickers. Batsmaru. And I like how they're more like pastels. I love this one here, <laughs> it's so cute. Again, that strawberry cart. Got a little pink Hello Kitty sticker sheet and some more Hello Kitty with little rainbows. This one, she's so cute with her little megaphone. And My Melody with little daisies. More My Melody, My Melody Burger. Tuxedo Sam, little twin stars. There's a lot of stickers in here, more little twin stars. I like how they're holding each other's like ice cream. And they are like in the clouds. We've got pom pom <laughs> and a little teacup, pom pom's butt. <laughs> um, what is this one? Yomi Yomi Doki Chan, I think. What's his name? <laughs> so cute with this fork. We got Batsmaru with serious attitude as always. Some more here is on his little skateboard. And Karopi looking so cute. Little cat. More Karopi. Little rice ball. We got Choco Cat. I like how they kind of all have like their own Choco Cat on the skateboard. Hangudan. Love Hangudan. So cute with this cat. But yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, if you love Sanrio and you like stickers, go to um, Hobby Lobby. Such a cute such a cute find okay let's get into the last bits here now guys i just realized i haven't filmed in a couple weeks i'm rusty i completely forgot to turn on my ring light this entire time i was like are you kidding me i am literally on my last clip to show you the last things that i have i was like i'm not about to film all of this just because my ring light was on so if the lighting looks weird before that is why i mean i have both of these windows open i got two windows here so um, and then I always add like a little like filters and kind of make it look a little bit more aesthetic with the lighting, um, when I edit. So hopefully it doesn't look too bad, but okay. Last things I have, let's run through this. I have a Zozo that I got at TJ Maxx for $8.99. Love the pastel cap. The little paws or the feet and this like turquoise color. Zozo is so cute. So I was so happy. And I didn't know if I had this one, but I have the big Zozo. So... I'm happy that I have him. Okay. And then I also picked up some of these foot peeling masks by Dermal for healthy feet, removes dead skin, exfoliating, moisturizing. Um, and it comes with two of these. I like to use these um, peeling masks. They're only $5.99 at TJ Maxx compared to 10. Um, I like to use these once every like other month. They really keep your feet nice and soft and um yeah eric and i have our little like spa days so i'm excited to use those and then i was also running out of lotion so i picked up this really cute one it's a nourishing with shea butter body lotion has honey extract which is added and it's strawberry scent 16.9 flew an ounce 5.99 compared to ten dollars the packaging is so cute and it's a little pump it's like a rose gold metallic pump it's made in Taiwan and it's by this brand called Punch, but, and this smells so good. It smells like just freshly cut strawberries that are sweet. So yeah, love that. And that's going to last me a while. And then the last things um, are from, well, these are from Walmart. 
They're these Disney Dorables um, Mystery Plushies. Um, and they're supposed to be 10 inches. And I already opened these because Eric wanted these. So there's this one, which is um, Toy Story. So you could have got Woody, Alien, or Buzz Lightyear. Of course, he wanted Alien. I wanted Alien as well. And then we have an Alice in Wonderland one, which, hello, I love Alice in Wonderland. Um, there's Alice, the Cheshire Cat, and the White Rabbit. I really wanted either the White Rabbit or Alice, but honestly, there's only three. I would have been happy with any of them. And these were on sale in the clearance section for $4, so I didn't see them anywhere else. And I think they were originally like 15 and this is what they look like. <laughs> Eric, he got Woody. <laughs> he was like, are you kidding me? I don't want this. No, he's going to put it in his room, but I like how they have glittery eyes and, you know, he needs to puff out a little more. He's kind of like this stretchy material, but I'm like, how did they fit this in here? Like, but yeah, you know, he's cute. And then I ended up getting the white rabbit with glittery purple eyes, his little outfit and his ears. He's super cute. He does have like this weird stain here, which I'm assuming it's from like the red right here from just like being in the packaging, maybe because of the heat or something. But he's really cute. I was like, I need more from this Alice collection. So we'll see if we find any more. And then the last three things are from GameStop that I actually bought like yesterday. Um, they're blind bags. The first one I have is a Kirby one. And I think these were like $7. I just wanted Rick. These are all the ones you could collect. And I got, I got Rick. <laughs> Rick the hamster look at him oh he's so round and cute it's like a little vinyl figure but oh i'm so happy i got the one that i wanted um yeah so there's eight of them i don't know what series this is but and then i got two of these because these were only four dollars they're hello kitty and friends blind figures and they're the sweet and salty series one you get two pieces so you get mix and match accessories with them and this is kind of a little overview of the ones you could get the one I got was Karomi, little pastel Karomi, and her little item is the cutest little pink My Melody cotton candy with the purple bow, and this goes into her little like hand right there, which is so cute, so I'll assemble her later, but she's adorable, and then the other one I got, so you can kind of feel, these don't have like the the plastic cartridge inside or like the the like cardboard that like covers it so you can't really feel what's inside it's just the plastic bag i really wanted pom-pom and i felt all of them and i could not feel it any of them none of them had pom-pom but i got cinema roll <laughs> he's so cute with his little pink bow these are like heavy too like they're good quality little figures and he holds a little popcorn just like a little popcorn so cute and this is the the little collection um tracker thing i mean look at them aren't these cute i need all of them and there's more there's metallic ones look at this metallic pump look at this tuxedo sam yeah so i'm definitely gonna buy more of these because i love them but yeah that is everything Oh my gosh, that was a long video. I have like over an hour of footage and I need to trim that down to at least, at the most 30 minutes, 35 minutes. Oh, we'll see. Anyway, let me know in the comments um, what you thought of this video, which item is your favorite, what items you're gonna be adding to your wish list and being on the hunt for. Yeah, I'm so happy. Now again, this is from the past, honestly the past month, yeah. So it's not just from that one shopping trip, it's from the past month. And of course, I'm gonna still buy more stuff. So we'll see when I make a new video. I've just been super busy, <sighs> new work schedule. Um, it's just, you know, I haven't really had as much time as before. Um, so yeah, but anyway, I'm excited with all these plushies. Now I need to find spots for them. It's great, it's like Tetris, you know? We'll find a spot for them. I'll let you know how these like lip products go, if I liked them or hated them. Love the blind bags and all my new little fidgets. Um, have any of you guys been able to find the Alice Wonderland Wet, Wet n Wild collection like anywhere from like Marshalls, TJ Maxx? Let me know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notifications. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, link in the description as always. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Oh, I was going to show you one last thing. This is my Hello Ring Light. 
slash tripod. This is my desk, how sad. So this is literally my desk, guys. It used to be just this part. But since I got these two monitors, I put this desk here. This is where I used to put my laptop on this acrylic riser. And I used to work on this desk right here. But since I started a new job, I need both of these screens and they're not aesthetic. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a new keyboard. I'm gonna get a riser. I'm gonna get a different mouse, a whole like whole setup. So I'm excited to buy that slowly but surely. There's a keyboard that I'm looking at that I love, but I do need a number pad though, because I work with a lot of numbers. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Comment a strawberry emoji if you have watched it to this point. And if you have, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Everybody stay safe, stay quiet, and I'll see you in the next video. There's Haku, Haku. <laughs> okay, bye guys.